today we are going to see about our timers and MSP 430. What is timer? A timer is a specialized type of clock which is used to measure time intervals. A timer which counts from zero upwards for measuring time elapse is often called a stop watch. It is a device which counts down from a specific time interval and used to generate a time delay for example an hour glass is a timer. So in the MSP 430 there will be five types. Uh, first one is a uh, basic uh, timer then RTC then watch stop timer and then uh, timer A and timer B in this uh, lecture we are going to see about uh, timer A and timer B so Timer A. So we can refer the block diagram of the timer A in uh, description. So what is the timer A? The timer A is a 16-bit or a 16-bit timer or counter with uh, three capture or compare registers, and it can support uh, multiple capture or compares uh, PWM outputs, that is a uh, pulse width modulation outputs and interval timing. It also has a uh, extensive interrupt uh, capabilities. Uh, interrupts may be generated uh, from the counter uh, on uh, overflow conditions and uh, from each of the capture or compare registers. So it features uh, include a uh, asynchronous 16 bit timer or counter with 4 operating moves, uh, selectable and con configurable clock source and then uh, 2 or 3 configurable capture or compare registers and then uh, configurable outputs with a PWM uh, capability, asynchronous input and output lancing. Interrupt vector registers for uh, fast decoding of all the time array interrupts. So, in time array, there will be three modes that is, uh, capture mode, then uh, compare mode, and finally, count mode. And, uh, uh, in capture mode, uh, it is used to record time events. It can be used for speed computations or time measurements. The capture inputs CCI XA and CCI XB are connected to external pins or uh, internal signals and are selected with the CCI SI bits. The CMX uh, bits select the capture edge of the input signal as uh, rising, falling, or both. A capture occurs on the selected edge of the input signal. If a capture occurs, the timer value is occupied into the PACCRX time register. Uh, the interrupt flag CCIFG is set when the input signal level can be read at any time via the CCI bit. Then, uh, in compare mode, uh, it is selected when CAP equal to 0. Then, uh, it is used to generate a PWM output signals or interrupts at a specific time intervals. When a TAR counts to the value in a TACCRX, interrupt flag CCIFG is set and then a interrupt flag EQX equal to will be 13. The input signal CCI is latched into SCCI. In uh, count mode, uh, typically it is used to used in capture mode to generate cyclical events and it can apply to capture mode in measuring cyclical events. Timer is supports uh, Four modes of operation that is uh, in count mode one is stop mode then uh, up mode continuous mode and then finally up or down mode in stop mode in this mode the timer will be halted and in up mode, uh, the timer repeatedly counts from 0 to value stored in capture or ca compare register. And in continuous mode, timer repeatedly counts from uh, 0 to 0x FFR, which is maximum value for 16 bit TAR. And in up or down mode, timer repeatedly counts from 0 up to the value in uh, TACC or 0 and back down to 0. So that all, that's all about uh, timer A. We can uh, move to timer B. And uh, similarly, the timer B. Block diagram, the block diagram of timer B will, you can refer in the description. So in timer B it is almost as same as the timer A but the include version of pulse width modulation. 
its default functionality is identical to time array and its features include compare registers or a double buffer and it can be updated in groups and it also preserves a PWM date time between uh, driving complementary outputs more care is needed when uh, implementing edge aligned PWM with the time array TB are configurable for uh, 8, 10, 12 or 16 bits counters and it provides a uh, range of periods when used in continuous mode and it also has a tri-state function from external pin and uh, in external TBO UTX bit pins puts all timer B pins into high impedance and so in with the timer A you would need to reconfigure pins in software so that's all about uh, timers in MSK for value thank you